In the Chapter 9 lecture, we will cover normal probability distributions and z-values. This lecture has five objectives. One, normal probability distributions will be defined. Two, we will define and calculate z-values for a normal probability distribution. Three, we will review the empirical or normal rule using z-values. Four, we will convert z-values to probabilities, or the area under the normal curve. Five, we will find the unknown random variable, defined as x, using z-values. Normal distributions are symmetrical distributions, like this one. The center of the normal distribution is the mean, median, and mode. The simplest normal probability distribution is defined by the population mean and population standard deviation. Because there are an infinite number of means and standard deviations, there are an infinite number of normal distributions. Here are three normal distributions with equal population means but unequal standard deviations. The larger the standard deviation, the wider the curve. The smallest possible standard deviation is zero, which would mean all variables are equal. The curve in that case would be a vertical straight line. Here are three normal distributions with equal standard deviations but unequal means. Because the standard deviations are equal, the peaks for all three curves have the same height. The population means place the curve on the x-axis. And here are three normal curves with unequal population means and unequal population standard deviations. Let's turn to the standard normal distribution. We cannot calculate probabilities for an infinite number of normal distributions. The standard normal distribution enables the calculation of probabilities for any normal distribution. The standard normal distribution has a population mean of 0 and a population standard deviation of 1. The area under the curve, or probabilities for a normal distribution, can be found using the area under the curve table or statistical apps like Microsoft Excel. The probabilities found using Excel are much more precise than those found using the area under the curve table. Let's discuss standard normal deviates, or z-values. With population data, standard normal deviates, or z-values, measure a variable's deviation from the mean in units of standard deviation. There are a variety of formulas for z-values. Standardized units of the mean or standardized units of the proportion are used for samples, depending on whether the data are for means or the proportion. These z-values will be covered in later chapters. Z-values are assigned. When a variable is above the mean, the z-values will be positive. When a variable is below the mean, the z-values will be negative. And when the variable equals the mean, the z-value is zero. Z-values require quantitative data. They cannot be calculated with qualitative data. Here is the z-value formula for the population. z equals the random variable symbolized as x minus the population mean or mu over the population standard deviation or sigma. Most variables are within plus or minus three z-values from the mean. Remember, z-values are assigned. They can be positive or negative. Here is a normal curve which charts the standard normal distribution. The population mean is at zero. The area in the red have random variables that are above the population mean. In this case, the z-values are positive. The area in blue have random variables that are below the population mean. In this case, the z-values are negative. Let's turn to the empirical or normal rule with z-values. The area between a z-value of negative 1.00 and positive 1.00 represents 68.26% of the normal curve, found by 0.3414 times 2. The area between a z-value of negative 2.00 and positive 2.00 represents 95.44% of the normal curve, 
bound by 0 0.4772 times 2. The area between a z-value of negative 3.00 and positive 3.00 represents 99.74% of the normal curve, found by 0 0.4987 times 2. The area above a z-value of 3.00 or below a z-value of negative 3.00 represents 0.13% of the normal curve, found by 100% minus 99.74% divided by 2. Microsoft Excel provides more precise probabilities for z-values than found on the area under the curve table shown on the previous slides. This is because the area under the curve table only reports probabilities for z-values with two digits to the right of the mean. Excel's calculations are based on 15 digits past the decimal point. Z-values are very useful measures. Z-values are a standardized measure. A standardized measure allows us to compare variability of the data measured with different units. Here we can compare SAT scores and grades on the first statistics exam. An SAT score of 1354 and a grade of 90 on the first statistics exam both have Z-values of 1.50. This normal curve shows the placement of a z-value of 1.50. What is the probability of a z-value of 1.50? How much of the curve is covered with a z-value of 1.50? Using the area under the curve table, a z-value of 1.50 represents 43.32% of the curve above the mean. This score, therefore, represents the top 93.32%. Please note, the area under the curve table shows the right side of the normal curve, but remember, the normal curve is symmetrical. The areas with negative z-values will have identical probabilities that correspond to positive z-values. Negative z-values are just on the left side of the curve. With the area under the curve table, the z-values on the right side of the curve are positive. The area under the curve table can be used for the left side of the curve, but the z-values would be negative. To find the probability for a z-value, first find the appropriate row by looking at the leftmost column, which is labeled z, and by matching the digits on the left and right of the decimal point to the row. Let's work through an example of finding the probability of z using the area under the curve table. When using the area under the curve table to find the probability of a z-value, we round off the z-value to two decimal places past the decimal point. A z-value of 1.5549 will be rounded off to 1.55. To find the area under the curve for a z-value of 1.55, locate the row labeled 1.5. Then find the column labeled 0 0.05. The probability for a z-value of 1.55 is found at the intersection of the row and column, which in this case is 0 0.4394. A z-value of 1.55 represents 43.94% of the right side of the curve, with 6.06% .06 in the tail. The area in detail is found using the complement rule, 0 0.5000 minus 0 0.4394 equals 0 0.0606. What does a z-value of negative 1.50 look like? Remember, negative z-values are on the left side of the curve. Of course, the probabilities for area under the curve can never be negative. A z-value of negative 1.50 represents 43.32% of the curve to the left of the center line, with 6.68% in the left tail. The area to the right of the curve represents 50% of the area under the curve. Statistics is visual. Draw the area you're looking for. Doing so, you will find, is very helpful. As shown in this screenshot from Excel, you can also find the area under the curve using Excel. Excel's calculations of probability are more precise than those found on the area under the curve table. 
you should be aware that Excel calculates the area under the curve probabilities, starting from the extreme left side of the curve. Points to remember when seeking to find the area under the curve. 1. Find the z-value first. 2. When the random value for x is smaller than the population mean mu, z will be negative and will be on the left of the mean. 3. Find the probability for the z value or values using the area under the curve table or a computer app like Microsoft Excel. Let's work through three examples using students' grade point averages or GPAs. To be accepted into an honor society, a student needs a GPA in the top 10%. A student has a GPA of 3.20. The population mean is 2.78 and the population standard deviation is 0 0.33. Remember, the formula for z is z equals the random value x minus the population mean mu over the population standard deviation sigma. Is this student with a GPA of 3.20 in the top 10% of her class? Will she be accepted into the honor society? The z value for the top 10% is approximately 1.28. 1.28 represents 39.97% of the area above the center line, which leaves 10.03% in the right tail. To be admitted to the Honor Society, a student needs a GPA that has a z-value of 1.28 or higher. This chart illustrates the area in detail for a z-value of 1.28. A student with a 3.2 GPA is not in the top 10%, and will not be admitted to the Honor Society. The calculated value for z is 1.273. Here we see the z value calculated using the formula on the right, and on the left the z value is calculated using Microsoft Excel. Excel can precisely calculate the probability for any z value. A z value of 3.2 has a probability of 0.3984, or 39.84%. This student, therefore, is in the top 10.16%, which is not good enough to make the Honor Society. Example 2. If a student's GPA is in the bottom 1%, financial aid will be lost. The student has a GPA of 2.05. The population mean is 2.78, and the population standard deviation is 0.33. Will this student lose financial aid? The z value for the bottom 1% is less than or equal to negative 2.33, found by 0 0.500 minus 0 0.4901 equals 0 0.0099. A student with a 2.05 GPA is not in the bottom 1%. This student's financial aid will not be lost. The calculated z value is negative 2.212. Here we see the z value calculated using the formula on the right, and on the left, the z value is calculated using Microsoft Excel. Excel precisely calculates the probability for any z value. A z value of negative 2.212 has a probability of 0 0.4865, or 48.65%. This student, therefore, is in the bottom 1.35%, which is not low enough to lose financial aid. Example 3. If a student's GPA is in the top 0.5%, a $2,500 prize is awarded. The student has a GPA of 3.65. The population mean is 2.78, and the population standard deviation is 0 0.33. Has this student won the $2,500 prize? The z value for the top 0.5% is greater than or equal to 2.58, found by 0 0.500 minus 0 0.4951 equals 0 0.0049. A student with a GPA of 3.65 is in the top half of percent. The student has earned the $2,500 prize. The calculated z value is 2.5. 636. Here we see the z value calculated the formula on the right, and on the left, the z value is calculated using Microsoft Excel. 
this student is in the top 0.42%. Let's do four more examples using SAT data. Based on national SAT data, the population mean is 1,060 and the population standard deviation is 195. Example one, what is the probability a student will score 1255 or less on the SAT? To repeat, the population mean is 1060 and the population standard deviation is 195. Step one, find the Z value for an SAT score of 1255. The Z value equals 1.00. Step two, convert the Z value to a probability. The probability for a Z value of 1.00 is 0.3413 or 34.13%. The probability for a Z value above 1.00 is 15.87%. Step three, use the special rule of addition to find the probability of scoring a 1225 or less on the SAT exam. The probability of getting an SAT score of 1255 or less is 84.13% found by adding the 34.13% of the area above the mean plus 50% for the left side of the normal curve. The area in red in this normal curve covers 84.13% of the normal curve. Example two, what's the probability a student will score greater than 1255 on the SAT exam? The answer can be found using the complement rule. 100% minus 84.13% equals 15.87% or 50% minus 31.13% equals 15.87%. Our finding, 15.87% of SAT scores are above 1255. Example three, what's the probability a student will score between 962 and 1255 on the SAT test? For this problem, we must calculate two Z values, one for an SAT score of 1255 and the other for an SAT score of 962. The Z value for an SAT score of 962 is negative 0.50. The Z value for an SAT score of 1255, as we saw in example one, is 1 1.00. The next step is to convert the two Z values into probabilities. The probability for a Z value of negative 0.50 equals 0.1915 or 19.15%. And the probability for a Z value of 1.00 is 0.3413 or 34.13%. Use the special rule of addition to add the two probabilities. We can do this because the two areas are on either side of the population mean, so they do not overlap. They are mutually exclusive. The probability of an SAT score from 962 to 1255 is 53.28%. The red area represents 53.28% of the area under the curve. Example four, what is the probability a student will score between an 1158 and 1255 on the SAT test? The first step is to find the Z values for 1158 and 1255. The Z value for 1158 is 0.50 and the Z value for 1255 is 1.00. The second step is to convert these Z values into probabilities. The probability for a Z value of 0.50 equals 0.1915 or 19.15%. And the probability of a Z value for 1.00 is 0.3413 or 34.13%. The last step is to use the complement rule to remove the joint probability of the area between the mean and 1158. The probability a student will score between 1158 and 1255 is 14.98% found by subtracting the probability for a Z value of 0.50, 19.15%, from the probability for a Z value of 1.00, 34.13%. Lastly, let's review solving for X. Sometimes we need to solve for the random value X. 
We would need to do this to determine the SAT scores needed for the top half a percent, top 5%, or bottom 10%. To solve for X, we modify the formula for Z. X equals the population mean plus the Z value for the desired probability times the population standard deviation. What is the SAT score for the top half a percent? The approximate Z value is 2.58. The SAT score will be 1563.1, found by the population mean of 1060 plus the Z value of 2.58 times the standard deviation of 1.95. Yes, SAT scores are discrete variables. It is impossible to score a fractional SAT score like 1563.1. We would round this score down to 1563. What is the SAT score for the top 5%? The approximate Z value is 1.65. The SAT score would be 1381.75, found by the population mean 1060, plus the Z value of 1.65, times the population standard deviation of 195. We would round this score up to 1382. What is the SAT score for the bottom 10%? The approximate Z value is negative 1.28. The SAT score will be 810.4, found by the population mean 1060, plus the Z value of negative 1.28, times the population standard deviation of 195. We would round this score down to 810. Excel offers greater precision because it provides more precise calculations of the Z value than the area under the curve table. The required SAT score is 810.097 compared to 810.4 found using the area under the curve table. Except where otherwise noted, Clear Sighted Statistics is licensed under a Creative Commons license. You are free to share derivatives of this work for non-commercial purposes only. Please attribute this work to Edward Volchak. You can access clear-sighted statistics for free along with its Excel and PowerPoint files on the CUNY Commons. The URL is https forward slash forward slash cuny dot manifold app dot org forward slash projects forward slash clear dash cited dash statistics.